up Virgo, thanks for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update. So if your sun, moon, or rising is in Virgo, welcome to my channel. Virgo lovers, what's up? Y'all, y'all know how this go, but flip the roles as you see fit. Please use the spirit of discernment. Everybody's on different timelines. I may be speaking of past energy for you. Um, I may be speaking of energy that's happening for you right now, or it may not be happening at all, okay? But literally, take what you need, leave what you don't need, okay? So definitely make sure you're in a high vibrational place as you are viewing this video. If you're feeling triggered by anything, check in with your higher self to see what that's about, okay? Um, I am a healing and manifestation channel, so my overall goal is to help you to ascend all right in your life and in your story okay so um definitely be cognizant of what you are thinking and what you are feeling okay so um I'm going to set my intentions because we got to be on the same page energetically as we're viewing this video, of course, as you are viewing this video, because I definitely go back and look at the video myself, y'all, because um, I'll be speaking to me too, because I am a Virgo, Virgo son. Um, but however, I want to set my intentions too, because we got to be on the same page energetically. Okay. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys for helping me with this collective Virgo reading. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to come in with you, close the gates to anything that's not in alignment. Thank you for using me as a messenger speaking through me loud and clearly tonight ask that you close all communication to any karmic energies Whew, and so it is <laughs> sometimes you got to exhale honey okay so i'm gonna start off with my energy oracle deck thank you show me what i need to see for my virgos what's, what's their energy what's virgos energy what is it that they're feeling I'm going to do that again, y'all. They were stuck together. This deck is very old, y'all. As y'all know. <laughs> and I refuse to let them go. Show me what I need to see. So, with the third chakra card coming out in the upright. I think, didn't that card come out for y'all yesterday? Mmm. The action card came out next. So, try to pull these down just a little bit for y'all. Alright, so something here with your life your life force energy you could be vibing extremely high right now and that's some good stuff okay um or you were and now you're taking some type of action here and you you're being more um let's just say you're putting in more effort all right so that's what i'm saying you're putting in more effort here you still ain't taking the time to rest <laughs> But you putting in more effort here, okay? When it comes to, oh, okay, I see it, I see it. All right, I take that back, Virgo. Okay, so third chakra in the upright position. Action card. You're taking more action on resting. This is in a reverse. All right, some of y'all probably still stagnant, like, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. But some of y'all are definitely putting in some effort here to take and put that time back into yourself, right? To meditate, even if it's just going out and taking a walk, right? You're doing that. Some of you may have just been like, you know what? I ain't going to do nothing today. I'm going to just, you know, do what's necessary. But overall, I'm not overextending myself. All right. I got the walking away card here in a reverse position. So it's still something that you're kind of still holding on to you. Okay. <laughs> you got to let it go. You got to detach. All right. Detach. Okay, Virgo. Um, But I see here that you are still working on it. Okay. It's like it's still something there just a little bit, but you're still working on it. Okay. I do also see here with the adjacent possibilities as well. You are working on seeing things from a different perspective and making healthier and happier choices for yourself. So this is still good energy. You're making more effort. You're putting that energy in. You're raising your vibration, Virgo. The yin and the yang card in the reverse. So you're being more active and you're being more logical about how you're going about your new beginning for yourself so all of this is good energy to me it says here that you guys are definitely taking the advice that my spirit team be given and applying it to your life all right now if you ain't gotten there yet we ain't, ain't gonna say nothing all right we just gonna say you just listen just listen and and literally pay attention to the comments and all because people are literally dropping um their stories okay their testimonies okay some people may still have uh, a story that they're repeating that's that same old sad story but overall i'm still hearing you know a different story from some of you guys and i definitely 
definitely am very happy for you all um for deciding here to you know really put the effort in to your own personal journey and your own personal healing um with the yin yang card too of course someone or some of you are on a twin flame journey because that usually is my card that ties to that as well doesn't mean all of you are but yeah a good amount of my collective are on the twin flame journey okay and i have to let you guys know again i probably say it over and over again but the twin flame journey is literally about your own self-love and your own um evolution okay a lot of people get it twisted and think oh it's because you found your higher level soulmate it's a love story no it's not <laughs> it's a story of self-healing okay self-preservation and you guys are doing that you're taking this time you're putting more effort into yourself i don't even have to pull cards for that okay so i was able to read all of that just from that now i feel like i need to hear an angel message for you guys tell me about this message that you have for Virgo. I am the angel of abundance, so you will receive the money that you need. God is in charge of how that will happen, okay? Have faith. So some of you definitely are like, wait, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm putting in an effort here. I'm shifting my energies, but God damn, my pockets. <laughs> you know, I definitely feel y'all because I'm, I'm kind of saying it the same thing. I'm, I'm winging it for real, um, but I'm having, you know, faith. Um, I try to shift my mindset because I know I always operated in one of lack um, because I've struggled like majority of my adult life um, just really just surviving okay so sometimes when you're in survival mode for so long you automatically kind of stay there so you hold on very tightly um, even if you do got enough right you still kind of like but it's some things but the universe is blessing me literally i went to go get my tire fixed because i caught a nail must have got in my tire or something so i had to get that fixed that ended up being like 65 dollars and they like you need an oil change that ended up being another 60 something dollars but i ended up walking out without paying for my tire repair so they gave that to me that was free you know what I'm saying? So all i had to pay for was my oil change so i was like thank you universe all right thank you divine for being abundant here okay so um it, it comes if it's not always in financial ways it comes in some kind of way where you're going to be blessed okay but overall you're going to receive what you need god is in charge have faith okay um i was just told to read the meaning of that from the book so give me a second to like turn around to see where this book is at okay so i was told to read from the book but where's the book team where's the book <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> and just like look over. All right, so Serena. God is the source of all of your good. Release all of your cares and worries to me and I will bring them directly to God. The more that you surrender the situation to heaven, the more open you become. Your openness, like outstretched arms, welcomes the gifts that we bring you. When you worry, however, it closes you down. It then becomes more difficult for us to deliver your gifts. You don't notice your gifts or you push them away. God infinite creativity means that your financial support will come in unexpected ways. And I just speak that. One of the reasons why you worry is because you don't have, know how your money will be delivered. You can release these worries by completely relying on God's wisdom and care. Notice your repetitive thoughts, your feelings, and ideas. They are our way of communicating divine guidance to you. As you follow these di divine directives, your supply comes to you on the wings of angels without delay or reservation. The more that you can relax and trust, the faster we can bring these gifts to you. So please move into a state of trust. Have faith, you guys. You will have what you need. Okay. Um, tell me what I need to see here for right now. Show the world the real you. So this is your time to shine, honey. And this is how the, the abundance you seek is going to come to you, okay? So definitely, even if it's a person that you're involved in, show that person too. I'm going to read it though. 
This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Okay, so don't lose the beauty and romance of life. Get out of your head and get into your heart. There may be a friend that needs you, so be there for them. But um, a situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. So these are just the additional meanings to this card. But what needs to go? Okay, so what do you need to let go of? All right. Um, what is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional or unexpected, but you need to show the world the real you. Okay, so let me see something here. So y'all know I'm going to jump to my witch's tarot real quick. And y'all know I'm learning them. So let me bear with me as I'm filling out the energies for these cards. So thank you. Show the world the real you. What is that about? Knight of Swords. All right. So when the Knight of Swords comes out, honey, regardless of what the challenges are, go for it. And that may be you. It's just like, you know what? I'm going to go after this. Um, I'm coming in fast. Okay. But be assertive and be very direct is what I see with this card too as well. But overall, and somebody may even be coming to you in that manner. They may be coming in very quickly and it may kind of feel impulsive because you kind of like, whoa, wait, why are you coming in so quick? Right. But um, either way, whoever this energy is, I'm still seeing Virgo, even for you, be assertive, you know, be determined here to overcome whatever the challenges may be, right? Um, there's so many other options and choices and doors and windows that you could be going through, right? Somebody's delaying something with the tower card in the reverse. So you may be delaying something from happening or... Um, because you may feel like it, it's going to be a chaotic situation, okay? Um, something could have happened, right? Um, that may have shook you to your core is also what I'm seeing with the Tower card. Whatever these sudden changes are, okay, still be determined to overcome them. Still go forward. Keep moving. Keep moving, right? But I'm also here, make sure you just have a structured plan um, about this. Yep, King of Cups. King of Cups comes in. So these sudden changes, whatever may have happened. Hold on one second. Let me get something to drink because my throat about to try to do that little itchy thing. I'm sorry, y'all. So with this King of Cups here, it's going to require you to think with your head and your heart. Use your intuition, use your logic. Um, it could be masculine energy here that has come in now because of whatever happened between y'all, okay? Thinking with that head and that heart. They like, shit, I'm ready to offer you this cup of emotions, <laughs> you know, and this love. Like, hey, I love you. Hey, what's up? What's going on with you? Where you going, right? That energy. But, um, however, <laughs> yep, somebody's trying to reconcile with you. <laughs> Three of Swords in the reverse. This person you ex you experienced some type of heartbreak with, okay? You may have gotten entangled in some type of third party situation, but overall, right? I definitely see a reconciliation. I see someone coming in and they're now being more emotional um, about this connection with you, trying to use their intuition. So whatever the whatever changes that happen between y'all two, all right, they coming in. They came in or they coming in. You're still being guided to like show this person your real self, okay? Um Wow. <laughs> Cause what they coming to bring now. The Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. This person is ready to show you the real them. Damn. <laughs> Y'all would be so crazy when I get these epiphanies like that. I mean, like, whoa, I wasn't even expecting that. This person is ready to show you the real them. They ready to offer you that Nine of Cups. It took the heartbreak and whatever that went through what happened between y'all mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't even gotta pull no more on that all right so since we talking about this you know this other person masculine energy so if if this is if you feminine energy that's your person if you masculine energy that's you but 
Okay, so mm, show me what I need to see here for Virgo in this situation. <clears throat> They talking about you. Okay, so they talking to friends and family about you again, Virgo. I need to, they need to talk to you. <laughs> so they already collaborated with their peeps, okay? And now they ready to share what they collaborating and what they the information that they got. So we're gonna pull tarot to see what this is about, y'all. You know I'm tripping right now. Like, what? Okay. I had enough of these karmic situations. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Three cards, three cards. All right, so. Hmm. Oh, this is behind me. I'm like, hold up. Let me think. Where are my cards? All right, so let me, let me put, look, let me put my feet up here, Virgo. Okay, let me get comfortable. Oh, I got to keep track of my time, honey. Hold up. All right, 10, 50. All right, so talking to friends and family about what? Tell me what I need to see here. They talking to friends and family about what? What's happening here? What are they talking to friends and family about my spirit team? Talk to us. You, Queen of Cups coming in. They're talking about how supportive you are, okay? How much you always standing up for them. How much you always standing by their side, okay? How intuitive you are, okay? So they weren't, they're ready to, they ready to recognize you. Yo, same cards. Yo, this is wow. They ready to recognize you, okay? Or take it to the next step, take it to the next level, whatever that may be. It's like it's about relationships, okay? Or offering you something here more fulfilling. Um, it's it's a part of their goal, is also what I'm seeing. Okay, so whatever this is, is that they they are ready to have a successful outcome. Thank you. Okay, so whether this may be moving in together, buying a home together, being in a relationship together, whatever it is, they're talking about that. Why they also talking about the heartbreak. Okay, so you guys definitely have experienced something that caused a lot of grief. You may be in separation from this person. Some of y'all may be in communication um, with this person. But however, they are heartbroken that they did not recognize you and that they were not supporting us as well. And so they're using their intuition at this point, too. Some of them are saying that you are a very intuitive person, that you are high priestess. So some of you may be tarot readers, um, spiritual advisors um, operating in these gifts some kind of way. So they may be talking about that, too, as well. Um, I'm also seeing here that they are trying to listen to their own inner voice as well. OK, but overall, it's just like I feel like they're having this conversation here about how supportive you are, even though. They broke your heart and they feel like they like they really got to recognize you. It has to be something successful out of this. They're coming in as a king of wands, so they're ready to get things done. So they're making some type of plans. They're very courageous about this. I do see also that they may be speaking about how they are um, scared. It's one they're fearless, but it's one of these things here where it's like. They got to get it done. They have to be dedicated. They have to be disciplined. Okay. They're looking ahead. Three of Wands. So they are um, trying to have the confidence here. All right. Because they want to grow. They want to grow within their own selves. And they want to grow within this situation. Okay. So let, let's see here what the response is from friends and family. So what is the friends and family telling Virgo's person? <clears throat> Nine of Swords in a reverse position. So they're telling them that they should recover this situation. They should heal it. They should fix it. Right? They've been very fearful and anxious about this overall. But they're letting them know, like, yo, you want this? Go fix it. Show me what I need to see. Stop being fearful about it and go get your person. Seven of Wands in a reverse. They tell yo, you being stubborn. Why would you give up on somebody like that? Four of Cups. You sitting here contemplating about this? <laughs> Why? Why are you contemplating about this? Go recover this situation. Go heal it. Okay? The hermit. Go get your person. You got to come out. You already thought about this enough. <laughs> like, yo, you thought about this long and hard already. You've been con contemplating about this. Recognize this. In order for you to be successful at it. All right, all right, all right bro. Right? <laughs> I says your heart, you may have broke that heart, but now it's time for you to recognize them. It's time for you to come out of 
that isolation that you and this oh look five of swords you sitting up here trying to think about this and contemplate on this it's no point you know what to do that's what i'm hearing wow five of swords speaks about reconciliation resolve this go get your person it's go they literally five of swords is about reconciling getting back together things of that nature okay so it's it look it looks like okay, it looks good for you Virgo. okay go get your person so mm. now what does virgo person want to talk about Virgo person want to talk about here Ooh, there go that tower card again. Uh, the tower. Mm, 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 mm. This is sudden. But whatever happened between y'all, once again, right? Whatever shook them to the core here, it got them inspired. That's why they're coming in, right? They're inspired. They need to talk to you. They got this idea here, okay? And they're now finding their own inner voice of willpower to literally develop this vision that they see, okay? So Six of Swords comes out. So they're making this transition. So they're getting ready to leave what's familiar or what I feel like it's like, you know how you leave behind what no longer serves you, right? If it's habits, if it's people, situations, I had enough of these karmic situations. This person is moving on from those situations and they want to talk to you and tell me. They want to talk to you about these ideas. Show me what I need to see. Yep, they moving on from a queen of wands in reverse. Something that's very demanding or a demanding person. Tell me about the queen of wands. That's part of that karmic situation. Tell me about this queen of wands. Why they want to? Why are they doing this now? Yep, four of wands. They get ready. Look at that. Four of wands in the reverse. They're no longer supporting this situation. When it comes to building something there or creating something there, like whatever that may be, it could be a firm foundation. It could be, you know, something of that nature, right? But they're no longer want to put the um, effort into it or offer any type of stability with that situation. Okay, so show me what I need to see here. Oh, whew, the Empress in the reverse. Wow. So it could be someone that they have children by. It could be someone um, who's just a mother figure. Okay. Doesn't have, they don't have to be pregnant or have children. It could just be someone who's a mother figure or insecure is also what came to me. Okay. Now that person doesn't want to transition. So that's the thing. They may feel even very insecure about doing this okay because i got the depth of rebirth card that came out um overall all right so something here i, I definitely feel like this clinging in energy so this person may be clinging to them in some kind of way um but overall the nine of cups is also there and that came out earlier for you guys they're ready to offer you the nine of cups right so they're ready for these wishes to come true babies so let me see something here <clears throat> Whew, tell me about this uh, Empress in the Reverse. Mm -hmm. So, with this Empress in the Reverse, um, mm, they got a lot of self-doubt. It's something here that makes them feel very low in that confidence here um, because of this Empress in the Reverse. Okay, and especially when it comes to them making these plans. All right, with the two of wands. Thank you. Why? Why do they lack the strength here? It's like they want this nine of cups. They got the ideas. They're ready to do it. But that, again, that challenge, right? That came out earlier with that empress. Mm, they don't want to work on that situation anymore. And they pretty much making decisions here with the eight of, eight of pentacles in the reverse and the uh, two of uh, swords here in a reverse position. Okay, so it's some type of truth that's getting ready to be revealed. Show me what that truth is. Ooh, the queen of swords. So this situation definitely can get quite funky, basically. Queen of swords in the reverse. Queen of swords in reverse is a, ooh, that's a toxic situation. That's a toxic person, okay? 
very manipulative and very cruel. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. This person keeps letting their emotions get the best of them. That's where the delays are coming from. And that's what they're telling you. They may reveal this truth about this empress in the reverse. That may be what they need to talk to you about. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to talk to you about these these real, these real delays, the self-doubt, okay? That empress in the reverse. They're going to talk to you about why. Wow. Mm. The devil card comes out. So they even may feel obligated or bound to this situation to a certain degree here, but they're they're releasing this. So they're they're beginning to see, okay, in order for me to be able to offer something here more serious with the King of Pentacles, they gotta release that situation. So that's why they're not really doing anything with the Knight of Pentacles there. They're totally being neglectful or um just kind of like in this energy of wanting to be alone, right? When it comes to that. So they're realizing, here, yeah, I got to release that in order for me to be able to be here at the King of Pentacles. And I definitely see that they, they feel like their growth is in their Nine of Cups would literally be there with you, Virgo. Tell me about them having enough of this karmic situation. They tired of arguing. They tired of the conflict. They tired of the tension. They tired of the competition, right? Five of Wands. Okay, so they're ready to cooperate with you, Virgo. Ace of Swords in an upright position. They see. They got the clarity now. It's like, okay, I gained this new point of view. This is a breakthrough for them. Literally, this is a breakthrough. They are inspired. They like want to really tell you about this. Look, Seven of Cups in reverse. They made a choice. So they like, all right, I chose. You know, this karmic situations, I had enough of them. Temperance. The yin and the yang. Is what I see with that. And it's like, they literally want to work in harmony with you. They want to be able to achieve this. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Anything else? That's it for that. Wow. I'm going to leave these three cards here. Kipper just was calling the crap out of me just now, y'all. <laughs> so I was like, hold up. Kipper, what you want, Kippa? Show me what I need to see, Kippa. Ooh. Oh, do I want to keep these? No, I'm going to put them back. It was too many. It was just like plat. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see, Kippa. Oh, what is that about? Bad health card came out. Show me what I need to see. I hope nobody's getting sick here. Sorry. Show me what I need to see. Could be a lot of worrying that's also coming in my mind. A lot of stress. Bad health. I don't like that. When that came, that fell on the floor. I don't like my cards to fall on the floor and then put them out. Unexpected income. Thank you. Unexpected. Show me what I need to see. In mail, main mail. Okay, so something may happen. Okay, so I'm going to pull tarot out. And it's unexpected. And it's happening with the main mail, so your person. And then it's the bad health card. So bad health, unexpected main mail okay so we're gonna pray against that energy already so pray against that energy and send protection okay so show me about the bad health card because of the choices that they made two of pentacles right show me what i need to see because of the imbalance, the choices that they made, um, them juggling. Tell me about that. So this is what ends up happening. They're manifesting something here, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so show me what I need to see. Am I seeing? Nah. What keeps coming in my mind is root work. Because they're uh, with the three of swords here. They're healing. Okay. Oh, thank you. Show me what I need to see here. I got it. 
that's more like past energy. Whatever was taking place here, I feel like it was some type of root work or spell work that could have been done at one point um, that was trying to keep this connection. But because, and, it, and it, it was keeping them in a bad position. Some of them may have had bad health, was sick. Um, I'm hearing um, acid reflux as well. Some of them may have caught COVID is also what I'm hearing. Hospitalized, okay. Um, mental I issues also what I see with this card, all right. But also I'm seeing it's like they made decisions, right, with the two of pentacles in the reverse because they were juggling, okay. And some of them may have had consequences from making those decisions, right, um, of juggling. But for the most part, here, even with this Queen of Wands, I see, I see you heavily Virgo in here manifesting um, and praying and setting intentions too as well. And the recovery is taking place with this Three of Swords in the reverse position. So it's a lot of healing that's taking place here. Okay, and they reconcile it and they're offering you here the Ace of Cups. All of this is unexpected. Okay, so I'm, I'm saying they were in a very low vibrational place at one time, right? Um, but now it's like, bam, they made a choice. It's you. They want to reconcile. They want to offer you their love. They have emotionally awakened for towards in a reverse. They hear now, they like, they want to recover. They're recovering. They will recover. If some of them are experiencing something with their health, they will recover is also what I see with that. Your love may have awakened them from that bad state. Okay. Um, but overall here, I'm seeing a recovery and an awakening. Okay. Um, and this is very unexpected. And even with this up in the upright position that speaks of, you know, ready to give to you, right? Be more generous. Um, also, I see, I see uni universe hand being in this okay um and then of course they are the main male so that's your person right now tell me what i need to see about this unexpected income yo kipper be tripping man <laughs> kipper at first be like Whoa. he'd be like what the hell is going on here okay yep it's unexpected because before previously they weren't offering you nothing Right? They were Knight of Cups. You just had a very disappointing situation. This person ran hot and cold. They was King of Wands. They was coming in just giving you the dangling, right? And leaving out, right? No non committal and everything. It was three of wands in a reverse. A lot of restrictions because of this Queen of Cups in reverse. Whoever that daggone person was, the um karmic person, or they definitely themselves was just freaking codependent, right? So it's unexpected because you like, shit, they were operating like this at first and now all of a sudden they see that they the main male. Like our whole situation was just bad, right? It just was like sickening, okay? And now this person is like, oh no, nah, I'm, I'm your man, <laughs> okay? Where does this come from? All right, tell me about this main male. That's funny. Yeah, it's definitely somebody from your past with the Six of Cups in the reverse position, okay? And the injustice. This person done an injustice to you, a lot of dishonesty as well. So you already know who this is about, Virgo. You know who the main person is in your life because you took a break from them with the hermit. You're like, nope, let me, let me withdraw my energy. Wow. Some of them definitely may have experienced some type of mental anguish or sickness or something because you withdrew your energy. A lot of conflict. Okay, so you know your your defenses is down when you worried and you stress. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, Virgo. Let me tell y'all, y'all be having <laughs> y'all be having all the tea. <laughs> Y'all just need like one big ass reality TV show. We should work on that, right? I should put something in the making. All right, so let me see something here. Ooh, ooh, I need to, did I, I already pulled that. Okay, like hold up, where else I gotta go with this show? Ooh. It ain't just y'all, it's on me too, Virgo. Show me what I need to see. Engagement ring. Huh. <laughs> That's all I got. I keep saying whoo. <laughs> Engagement ring, Virgo. Partnership. Things come in full circle. Well, God damn it. Completion. Union. Whew. 
Show me what I need to see. Mm, 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 mm. Show me what I need to see. I, I, I hear you, Spectrum. Hold up. I feel like I need to confirm some things with my romance energy. Show me what I need to see. Here. Show me what I need to see. Honey, they are calling you in. <laughs> or you need to call in your soulmate. But it's your prayers, your affirmations and visualization that's bringing y'all two together. Okay, Virgo? Even with that, that Queen of Wands that came out, it's the same thing. I feel like you are manifesting this cat, this uh, situation. You turned something that was literally bad for you, or what you may have thought, right? Into something that's abundant. Wow. Y'all have a lot of chemistry between each other. Engagement. <laughs> Romantic feelings is what was behind it. So two engagement cards. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> your feelings are worth exploring. And your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, Virgo? So, of course, you already know how this go. If there's something you want, this is for you. If this ain't something you ready for as of yet, this is not for you, honey. Okay? You don't have to take it. You can leave it. All right? Um, but however, don't hold on to it. Don't feel triggered by it or nothing. Release it. Move forward. This is just what the energy is. Um, but overall, what I see is a true love story unfolding. Okay? Um that's about it, Virgo. So what's tomorrow, y'all? Thursday? Yeah, I will definitely catch y'all tomorrow. All right? Peace.